Welcome back to another Nelly Diverse skincare video. The topic of the day, we're going to be talking about different body products and really how to work with cellulite, but also the relaxation aspect, how to hydrate your skin properly and things like that. So a lot of people already do uh, moisturize daily when they get out of the shower, but a lot of people don't actually exfoliate their bodies or really do anything else, but they refer to salons to get cellulite treatments or just hydrating body wraps and things like that, which is great but there are a few things that you could be doing at home. So before we get into the different steps that you could be taking at home, we're gonna talk about what is cellulite and who gets it. So cellulite is something that almost everybody could be getting. However, you are going to see it uh, mainly on women, honestly, because of our hormonal fluctuations. So uh, because of the hormones that women do have, we're definitely going to be predisposed to getting more cellulite than men. It is much more rare that you're going to see um, cellulite on a man than a woman. The areas where we typically get it is going to be, you can get it on your stomach, you can get it on your thighs, you can get it in your butt area. Uh, some people can get on the arms as well. So there are a few different areas where you can get cellulite and there are things that you could be doing at home. So not to take away from all the beautiful treatments you can do at the spa or at your uh, medical spa, so we're talking about the radio frequency, cavitation treatments, just global skin tightening. There's a multitude of different treatments that you could do there. However, the results are going to also vary from what you're doing at home and also the amount of um, time lapse that you're going to be able to pass without going for your follow-up visit or just your, your touch-ups, if we want to call it like that. So that's a little bit of what the treatments you can do. Now, what cellulite actually is, it's going to be a hardening of your fatty, fatty tissue, excuse me, and we have two different types of cellulite. So you're gonna have your hydric cellulite as well as your fibrous cellulite. The difference between the two, your hydric cellulite is going to be much easier to, we don't wanna say remove, but we're gonna be able to diminish it much quicker just by doing little kind of lymphatic drainage type of gentle massage maneuvers on ourselves. Those are going to be, it's like a fluid infiltration in between our fatty tissue. And then we have our compact cellulite, which is the one that is visible uh, when we kind of like pinch our skin. So if you're like me and you're sitting down right now and you're looking at your thighs, you can actually kind of tell if your cellulite is more hydric or fibrous. So the approach to how to work on that cellulite is going to be different depending which one you have. Uh, you can do all of the steps. However, it's not always going to be necessary to do the three steps I'll be talking to you about. So the first thing that's important for care at home Anybody, whether we're talking about just maintaining your hydration or even working on your cellulite, cellulite, excuse me, you should be doing some body brushing at home. So this brush is super, uh, it's a very dense brush. Now it does feel pretty coarse when you're touching it the first time and it's not going to be like your facial brush that we talked about in previous videos. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this one is going to be done on dry or damp skin. We don't want to put it on wet skin or do it in the shower because this is a um, like a wood base. So if you put it in the shower, everything's going to get wet and then your wood might crack much faster than it normally would. So dry, damp skin, circular motions, and this you can do your full body. So it's a really nice way to do your exfoliation, but also to get your blood circulation going. Anytime you're going to be applying the body products afterwards, make sure that you brush in the area. So you could be doing this two to three times a week. It's really just a good way to get the toxins eliminated and also just prepare the skin for better product absorption. Your brush it should be used only for you. So please don't share it with all of your friends who want to try it. One brush is for one person, okay? So two to three times a week, you could do your full body, great for exfoliation, stimulating your blood circulation and preparing the skin for the actual um, cellulite treatments we're going to be doing after. Product number one, Olea Slim Bath. So the Olea Slim Bath is going to be, and I'm not gonna to go too much into detail as far as what the active ingredients are for all of the cellulite products, <clears throat> but in cellulite products, we do work with uh, cinnamon, we're gonna have some peppermint, we're gonna have some lavender, sage. So we're gonna work with a lot of active uh, stimulating essential oils to kind of get your circulation going and that's how we're going to be able to promote toxin elimination and also just um, reducing the adipose tissue if you want to see it like that. So oleosin bath is something that I do recommend mainly for somebody who has a more hydrocellulite, so the one that's more related to water retention. 
because what it's going to do, you're going to put 15 to 20 milliliters in a bath, sit in there for about 20 minutes, and then once you get out, it does promote perspiration. Now, that being said, if you have anything to do after your bath, this might not be the best one to use because you are going to feel like you are constantly sweating and it's normal. We're trying to eliminate all of that toxin buildup, fluid buildup and things like that. So just stay put for a bit, let the product do its job, and then you're going to continue with the following products. So Olea Slim Bath, uh, Hydric Cellulites, anybody who just, I mean, there is the aromatherapy that comes with it too, but it's really, really good for just impure skins and eliminating all that buildup. Then we are going to have our oleoslim oil. So the oleoslim oil is something you should be using daily. If you're going to be doing the full regimen, so if you do have a combination of hydrocellulite as well as fibrocellulite, or you're just somebody who says, you know what, I wanna go full in, I wanna get this taken care of, summer's right around the corner, let's get to it, you should be doing the oil as well as the cream daily. So this one is something that you can use at home as a treatment in the sense that if you want to apply it on your skin, you can wrap yourself in um, like plastic paper, plastic paper, cellophane, I think it's called. Yes, I think it's cellophane. So you can wrap yourself in cellophane, get your workout going, and then you're going to sweat. And it is also going to help to promote the elimination. So again, a lot of essential oils but if you're not using it as an at-home wrap, you could just apply it daily and that's going to help to kind of dissolve all of these uh, fatty deposits. Just beautiful smell, so you are going to enjoy it quite a bit. Then on top, so somebody who just has a tiny bit of cellulite or who has already done, uh, let's say, 10 treatments of radio frequency and that they want to just maintain the results at home, this is where I would recommend my Olea Slim Cream. So your oleoslim cream is going to create, if you want, we're gonna explain it like that so you can see what's happening. We're gonna create a bit of an edema, so like a swelling on your superficial layers to help to diminish the appearance. So even if you're going through your series of radiofrequency or tightening or whichever treatment you have been recommended by your skincare professional, your laser technician or anything like that, you can be using this throughout your treatment to just help to accelerate the process, but also just bypass that in between phase where cellulite generally looks a little bit worse when we're doing equipment related treatments. But after that, this is your maintenance cream. So you do have uh, quite a bit of cinnamon inside and that's really what this, the main smell you're going to have. But other than that, gorgeous product. It does help to tighten a little bit as well. So if you have a little bit more of loose skin, you can use it in any body area too. <clears throat> so we have done our cellulite treatments at home. How about relaxation? Now's the time to be relaxing, okay? We need to prepare ourselves and relaxing is something we should be taking time for ourselves really all year round. The relaxing bath. So this is something that I do weekly or really as needed. The relaxing bath is this gorgeous blend of essential oil. So you're gonna put, again, uh, 15 to 20 milliliters in your bath and you can stay in there for about 20 minutes. You have, of course, the aromatherapy that still comes just like anything else in Nelly, but you do have some amazing uh, relaxing effects on your parasympathetic nervous system. That is everything that's related to you being tense and you being anxious and you being stressed. Anything related to uh, muscle tensions or just stress in general, everybody's stressed, but we can take the time uh, without spending six hours in a relaxing environment that 20 minutes is the equivalent to a 90 minute hot yoga session on your body as far as your relaxation goes. So this would be for the relaxation aspect, all right? So recap, oleoslim bath, hydric cellulite, but still going to be beneficial for anybody who has more fibrous cellulite. Then for daily use, you're gonna have your oleoslim oil and that's going to be for your more compact cellulite, so the type of cellulite that when you massage it on, it does feel a little kind of stiff, almost like a bruise. In that case, that's a really good indication that you have a more compact cellulite. So you should be using that and try to just massage it in, take your time. Again, taking your time is part of doing self-care, and that's important. So you can do that as well. And then on top of that daily, you would be using your oleoslim cream, and your body brushing should be done two to three times a week, okay? Now I see I have questions. K 
can you use relaxing bath topically and not in a bath? Yes, actually you can. Uh, normally when I'm doing facials, I do like to start, I do like a little welcome massage with the relaxing bath. bath. I put a couple of drops and just do a little epilogage movements in the neck area and that does have a really nice calming effect on the muscles without going with a like an anti-inflammatory or a medical grade arnica type of product for muscle tensions but it's really really nice and also when the show seasons are back on we're constantly on our feet so I like to use that at the end of the day in a combination with the circular cream which I haven't spoken about but that's something too that you can include if you are prone to getting a lot of muscle tensions uh, just heavy legs that type of stuff you can use it locally uh, you can use it on your back you can use it on your shoulders knees anybody who has arthritis or just needs to have a little freshen up water retention also on the legs is something that you can use it for too so uh, let me just see if there's anybody else who has questions hello angela tammy claudel laura Mandy. Okay, so I don't think there's any more questions right now, but if you do have just like every other time, please put them in the comment box. I'm going to be answering uh, throughout the day, or if not, I'll be answering Monday maximum. And I look forward to seeing you guys. We have announced also the uh, next topics for the upcoming weeks. On Monday, we're going to be talking about the eye contour uh, gel versus cream. How do we pick? So we'll be talking about that. So I will see you then. Thanks for tuning in.